Hey folks, how's it going? I hope you're well and welcome to this, uh, the vault part four, which is where I'm going through all my Lego, which I was storing away and I'm able to unpack. And the idea is that I can now put it on shelves, put it on this shelf specifically as much as I can so I can clear the tables here and um, have, uh, well, expand the layout that I am building. So uh, I have managed to clear one side and there's a rail yard sitting there, temporary rail yard, which is really good. But uh, yeah, the idea is just to unpack stuff and give you guys a look at stuff that possibly wasn't on hauls. Um, sometimes I just didn't get enough time to do hauls and, and in the old house I ran out of space and had to stop videos and yeah, anyway. So uh, first up, um, found some minifigs. So uh, got minifigs from the build a minifig uh, thing in the Lego store, local Lego store, and it's just got some pigs. We've got another one with more pigs and uh, yeah, some other stuff, just general minifigures. Most of them have animals with them, either cats or dogs. I think it's got a sort of a French poodle in one of these, I think. Um, so yeah, so there's some random, so I'm finding random stuff that I've kind of forgotten about. Uh, let's see, we'll start with this. It's not in a bag. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a haul on this. Uh, but the medieval blacksmith. I have actually got two of these. I bought one, an extra one at some point. Put that over here. Okay, now on to bags. And it's the bags that the older stuff is in. Um, so yeah, we'll start with this. Let's see what comes out. Okay, here we go. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, submarine, and that is boxed, yeah, in a pretty good condition as well. So that's one of the older sets that I own. I did buy that from Toys R Us a very, very long time ago. So that's quite cool. Um, an old Arctic set. I don't know if I've actually got one of those built or not. I built quite a lot of the Arctic stuff, but I may not have built this plane just because I know well, planes take up a lot of space and I wouldn't have had anywhere really to put it. Um, what else have we got? Okay, oh, a Ninjago movie set. Uh, that's got a small police tuk-tuk, pretty much. So that's cool. Okay, we have a Scarif Trooper. And we have um, K2SO, that's from Rogue One, isn't it? Rogue One sets, and yep, got Jin Erso. Oh my goodness, I've got a Grievous. Wow, okay, totally forgot I had a Grievous, but I have a Grievous. Oh, these are all... Okay, these are all uh, buildable minifigures. I do have loads of dark troopers and stuff, but they're built. But um, got Luke, Luke Skywalker there. I'll hold it back so it's actually in focus. Try and get these. The camera doesn't adjust very well. Um, that's uh, Ray, isn't it? Right, Poe Dameron. And uh, Django Fett. So. <laughs> Okay, I've completely forgotten about that. Oh my goodness, and I have uh, Jurit Imwe. Im, Imwe. There we go. Another Rogue One character, so. Okay, I had completely forgotten I'd bought those, but I I have, yeah, I have got the, um, the Darth Vader and various other things, but they are all built. So, next up, another box. Having a general grievous is pretty cool though, gotta say that. Um, okay, a random friend set. This is uh, the catamaran set from Friends. A boat, it is a boat, so technically it counts as a boat collection and another boat. Um, okay, but this specifically says ship does not float. So there we go, another boat, this time Friends. Try and put this over here so it's actually in camera. Uh, 
Okay, uh, we'll go with this one. Okay, we've got a random uh, Nerf set. Nothing to do with Lego, but that is a box. <laughs> it's been in storage as well. Okay, and we've got the large exploration ship. 60266. That will be getting built and being added to the collection of boats. Okay. Slowly disappearing to the back of the studio, but bring this forward. Yeah. Right, so this is just the empty box for the um, monorail expansion pack and that is uh, all the track and all the parts of that are used um, and will be getting used in the layout so but I kept the box because obviously the box is uh, it's quite something okay uh, classic Lego more classic Lego it's probably got a few sets we bought a bunch for the wedding for the um, for the reception so there was a table full of Lego that people could play with and uh, yeah that's what that was for but I need to part it out so it needs to go into the collection so I can actually use it and what's in here okay so this is uh, the city centre set the old city centre set some of this is uh, it's actually been opened so some of this would have been built and used um, so that is not complete and what else do we have? We have a Ninjago set, which is reduced. It was reduced. Um, looks like an interesting set, but it was down to 18 pounds to four pound 50. That's not a bad deal really, but box is totally crushed and it was possibly reduced because the box was completely crushed. But that would be a cool little set to build at some point. And I have, ah, right, okay, so I have a Star Wars, um, the, yeah, the smaller Master Yoda's hut on Dagobah. So that, I think I bought that so I could put it with the old X-Wing, although it's not, you know, it's not the same set, but it will go and it will fit. Because that's just part of the scene. And, okay. Um, a three-in-one set, that's a little sort of mountain hut that'll get built probably and put in the, the layout, uh, a random classic Lego set. Okay, and a snow plow here, a hidden side set. Oh, that, I think that was, a, that was a freebie with purchases when you purchase something at the Lego store. That's why I have that. I have, uh, oh, there we go. Uh, the, um, I think that was an anniversary set, wasn't it? The, the knight and, um, it's not a catapult, it's a ballista, isn't it? Okay, we've got a stunt truck. Uh, fire engine with the burger, what is it, the burger, ah, the burger store fire anyway, but that's that. And a rally car, it's almost like a Paris Dakar rally car. We have, right, this was bought definitely, I went looking for this one because it's a really good, nice looking Airplane. I think I saw it at one of the um, Tartan Lug shows. Tartan Lug is the Scottish Lego user group, and I, one of the guys was showing his. Uh, he had sort of lots of aeroplanes out, and that was one of them. And it just looks really, really impressive. So I went out looking for that to buy it, and hopefully at some point, well, we'll see. Gets built and it goes into the layout. Uh, I've got to build the layout, and I've got to tidy up before I can do it. So. 
Oh, next up. I'm way back here, but here we go. There's the other blacksmith. I figured it was just a, such a nice set and I must have had the money at the time to do it, so I did it. I got a second one. It's a shame the uh, it's a shame the 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 castle from the Bricklink the first round of Bricklink uh, what is it the Bricklink um, designer program. It's a shame the castle from that wasn't actually an idea set because that sold out so quickly and it would have been great. However. Um, the Bricklink Ideas program is kind of slightly annoying for me because I ordered the fishing boat as well as other a couple of other sets, but I had to cancel the other sets. But I'm still waiting for the fishing boat, and that was like back in August. Still don't have the fishing boat, so I, and I haven't bought anything on the other ideas things because I don't know when. Sorry, the Bricklink Designer program because I don't know when it's going to arrive and when they're going to charge me. So. Um, Okay, carbon freezing chamber, there we go. I don't collect Star Wars, but for some reason I have some. It's kind of like one of those things. I don't collect Star Wars, but I have a bunch of them. I do like the Jedi Interceptors though. Um, the first trilogy, I know people slate it, but I kind of like the Clone wars -y, the beginning of the Clone Wars and those, those ones. Um, I suppose it's got lots of battles in it with uh, clones and stuff. There's an A-Wing. Okay, motorcycles. And here we have an unopened, okay, unopened Scooby-Doo with the horse still in it and the Scooby-Doo plane. And this, some stuff is just random, but there we go, a Disney princess. Um, what princess is that? Cinderella maybe? I don't know. But a random sin, uh, yeah, Disney princess set. I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes the sets I have confuse me. But okay, we've got Ninjago movie sets now. Ooh. Just pick this set up. Okay, this is uh, Mighty Micros, uh, the Flash. I think that's the third one of those sets that I have. Oh, a creator three in one train. There we go. And I've got these, which are, yeah, three of them. So three of these Ninjago sets, and it's the bridge. And I think these possibly were reduced slightly. And because of the bridge, um, it's got, I mean, it's got a skeleton in it anyway, which is pretty cool. But I think I've mainly bought it sort of for bridge pieces. And it's got this gray stone bricks and everything. So They'll be useful, but I bought it deliberately so I could build it, put it in the old Duncton layout in my old house, but never, well, things things changed and I never got to implement it really, I suppose. But yeah. So they were built specifically to go into the layout and videos and stuff. Right, I'm just gonna keep on going with these. Try and get, yeah, there's only, there's only two bags left after this. Oh my goodness, I've run out of space though. Okay, uh, three in one, beach hut, surf hut thing. Gonna have to empty the shelf. So there's gonna definitely gonna be a vault part five. Coast Guard set. Uh, police van. I think I found this, I was in a supermarket and this was a retired set and shouldn't have really appeared on a shelf anywhere, but um, yeah, it was uh, one of the older police fans, so I thought it was worth getting. Uh, jet skis. And nutcracker set. Must have been a gift with purchase. We've got some speed champions here. Speed champions. And a uh, camper van. That will go in with a camping scene at some point. See, all these sets have a purpose sometimes and you think, oh, it'd go really well, but you have to, it's the space and having the space and everything. OK, 
Okay, a penguin. Um, that's from the Lego Batman movie, isn't it? Yes, okay. I'm just waiting for all of this to collapse. Basically, it's, it's starting to wobble a bit. Oh, and we've got, there we go, another three-in-one surf up. And because it's a three-in-one, I could put alternate builds, so. There you go, um, what is it? Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it there for this video, for part four, and then we'll move on to part five. I'll see how much I can fit on this shelf above. I think I can, I mean, the way it's going in, it's definitely, um, I'm able to fit a lot more on, but um, hopefully I will have these tables free to do stuff. I've got, um, yeah, it will just make filming a bit more easier and it will make the layout a little bit larger as well. So, okay, for this video, that's it. This is uh, a quick look. Some Lego sets are obviously slightly more interesting than others, but this is just me sorting through it. And also I can use these videos for reference as well, personal reference. So. That's the main thing. But anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, if you haven't already, then you can always like and subscribe. And if you have got to this point in the video, then certainly like and subscribe because you've uh, stuck with it this long anyway. But uh, yeah, thanks. I will, uh, yeah, see you in the next one.